everyone, it's Emily, and today I'll be talking about all the different gaming accessories that I like to use for traveling purposes. So I am going on a work-related trip soon. Um, I think I'll probably be posting this video in the middle of it, but I have three different handheld devices that I usually like to bring for traveling. My Nintendo 3DS, my Switch Lite, and my PS Vita Slim. I find that bringing more than one gaming console at a time um, is a bit overboard. This of course varies depending on how long your trip is and how long you'll actually be traveling for. In my case, I am flying across the country and I do have a rather long layover. So I'm gonna be traveling for um, eight to potentially nine hours in one direction. So what I'm gonna actually be doing is bringing two different devices with me just because I'm gonna be sitting for a long time and I'm a little worried about finding power outlets, especially in the airports. But enough rambling about my travel plans. I will be sharing how I would travel with each three of these devices. And at the end, let you guys know which ones I decide to bring with me. First device I'll go over is my Nintendo 3DS XL. So already I do have a protective um, hard shell case on this, just for added protection. So when it comes to storing this device, I do like to bring one of these sort of cases with me. So these are usually constructed with some sort of cardboard-like um, exterior. Um, you can definitely get things with um, a bit more protection, but um, I haven't really had any troubles with just um, these ones. I think this is an official Nintendo product that they probably don't have available anymore, but there's a lot of different generic ones you can definitely use. Um, and what's nice about these um, is usually they have a nice little insert where you could actually fit your device in. Um, one thing I will note is because I have a hard shell case on this, it doesn't fit in this kind of spot uh, perfectly, but it still does fit um, because there is um, extra space on the top. Um, I don't usually like to put my um, charging cables in here. This is the one for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, it does fit nicely in this pouch here. And in the pouch, I also like to just bring like a little cleaning cloth. Um, and then an extra stylus, um, even if it doesn't really fit. It's always a pain if you lose your stylus somewhere and you have to use your nail for the touch screen. Um, I don't like doing that, so I um, always like to bring an extra one. So I usually like to keep the charging cable separate from where I'm storing the consoles, uh, mostly just so none of the parts kind of rub together on accident. So what I usually do is I just grab a regular um, cosmetic like bag, little pouch, and um, you can easily just organize um, these in here. And so um, if I'm bringing multiple devices with me, I would typically just put all the charging cables together so I know where they are and, and also dig through all the various carrying cases and things. Now, when it comes to games, I actually don't like to bring a lot of games with me. There are a few reasons for this, but the main one is I just generally don't like to walk around games at a given time. Um, especially not on the same console. So I usually just keep the game I'm playing on my system and I usually do have like one or two digital games that I haven't played before so that could always be a backup if I don't want to bring an additional game with me. But if you do have one of these cases, um, they do usually have slots where you can put games in too. So that's an option as well. Next, I'll be going over the PS Vita here. I also have an, the original OLED model, but personally, I think traveling with the Slim makes the most sense, uh, mostly because it's light and compact and it has a longer battery life. And with this particular one, I did jailbreak it. So I do like that option because then I don't have to worry about bringing physical games with me and them um, somehow getting lost or something like that. For the case, um, I did actually recently pick this up on Amazon. Um, the nice thing is that it is uh, double layered here. So you have this first um, zipped compartment where you could put the device and if you so choose the physical games. And then this compartment, um, I like to stick the cables in because it is um, sectioned off for that. So just a quick little demonstration. Um, it's not as sturdy of a case compared to um, my 3DS case. Um, I couldn't really find a more sturdy option for the Vita. I'm sure they're out there, but um, I was kind of struggling actually finding cases for this. And one of the benefits of bringing the Slim model instead of the OLED model is that you don't have to worry about what cable to bring. The Slim model lets you use any sort of micro USB, whereas the OLED model doesn't have that flexibility, unfortunately. Now, finally, for my Slim here, I usually 
used a grip. Um, this is the Satisfy grip that I got. I think Headley discounted on Amazon at some point. I usually always have a grip on my Switch Lite um, just for comfort. Whereas the PS Vita and the 3DS XL, I don't feel the need for having a grip. Unfortunately, I don't know a good way to travel with this other than just sticking it in your bag and maybe just putting like a little cushioned pouch around it. And so for short trips, I'm actually probably not gonna be bringing this with me. For a case, um, just like with my PS Vita, I actually don't have an external case to wrap around my Switch Lite. Um, there's a lot of ones you could get that are like rubber and things like that, which should offer at least a little bit of protection. Um, but the uh, case that I ended up buying here um, only fits uh, the light as is. So uh, you can see here, it, it is a tight fit. Um, I do really like this case though. It is made out of the same material as the 3DS case I have. Um, so it is nice and sturdy. So it fits right in and it's very compact. If we wanted to compare um, bulk here, see it is much slimmer than the 3DS and my Vita case. This also has slots for games uh, if you so choose. These are all games that I have pending right now. So either games I'm sort of in the middle of or ones I want to start soon. There's only one game on here that I haven't started yet. All the other ones are ones that I'm in the middle of. But yeah, typically I wouldn't bring this many games with me when I'm traveling. I also have this soft case here. Um, this is from the Shimigami Tensei 5 line um, that I got off of Amazon Japan. It has a Velcro. It's just a very soft pouch. This is actually meant for the regular Switch, I think, and not the light. But what I found with this is um, if I zip up this case like so, it does fit this actually really perfectly. Um, if I wanted to give it a, just that added protection. And I also just like to have these soft pouches around um, when I'm casually playing inside. So instead of taking it in and out of this harder case all the time, um, this one is just much easier to access and um, to keep around. So yeah, sometimes I like to layer my cases this way which is definitely not necessary, but I do kind of like having these two options available and it does give that little extra padded protection. Um, that's, again, I don't think necessary, but it's nice to have. And if I'm ever planning to travel for a long period of time, um, I would consider bringing in something like this um, that holds multiple games. Um, right now, this is just holding a lot of games that I'm mostly complete or games that are easy to return to like Hades and Breath of the Wild. It's a magnetic closure and it's pretty cute. I, I think a lot of YouTubers have mentioned buying this on Amazon too. And the other gaming essential that I usually bring are um, earbuds. For the older devices, um, these really come in handy and I also like to use this on my Switch occasionally um, since I'm not really an AirPod person. And again, I just like to store these in a pouch keep everything nice and contained. And then for the switch cord, um, um, it's pretty small for what it is. So that also should fit easily in my pouch here. All right, so now I have to decide which of these devices and games I wanna bring with me on my trip. So I'll be gone for four days. And as I mentioned earlier, um, very long travel time. So I decided to bring two different devices on this trip. Um, one as my main one and the other one as a backup. So for my backup, I am going with my Vita Slim, uh, mostly because of the very long battery life. So in case I run into trouble on that front, um, this will be easy to take out and play for an extended time. And then for my primary device, I haven't finished Xenoblade Chronicles 3 yet, and I definitely won't finish it before my trip, which when I'm filming this is tomorrow. However, um, I have a special video that is in the works and for that video, I need to play something that's on the 3DS. So I'm actually going to be ringing my 3DS XL, which is sort of unfortunate because I the mean to change the battery on this. So the battery life on uh, this current system is not so great, but I think for the most part it should be fine. And as long as I have some access to a power outlet, um, there really shouldn't be any issues, hopefully. For the 3DS XL, I'm just going to be bringing in one game with me and I'm hoping to make good progress, if not complete, during my trip. And then for my bag up here, I'm not really sure what I'll be playing. Probably a visual novel. Um, I'll let you guys know what I end up choosing if I have to break this out. So 
So this is gonna be the bulk of what I'll be bringing with me um, when it comes to gaming. But yeah, these are all the things that I usually bring with me when I travel. So let me know what you guys like to do when it comes to traveling with game consoles. Do you like to bring multiple devices with you at once and multiple games? Or do you try to just stick to a specific console and or a specific game? And also, are there any other accessories that I didn't mention here that you also find really helpful when it comes to traveling? I would love any recommendations. And while it might not help with this trip, I do have a lot of other work-related trips that I'm supposed to go on in the second half of this year. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little weird to be traveling again. It's been over two years since I've been on a plane, so I'm hoping things go smoothly. And I also wanted to say that I'm probably gonna be a little slow to respond to comments. Um, in the next couple days but i will do my best to get to them um, and i should be back uh, next week and post some more content for you guys so until then bye guys